The next one is Canva. If you go to canva.com, you can get up and running in just a matter of seconds. And then what it does is it gives you all these templates, depending on what category you've chosen. Uh, for example, they have templates for a YouTube channel. Uh, I'll log in as myself. If I went in and I chose social media and I chose a Facebook post, it will allow me to see a bunch of Facebook posts, for example, and it'll be formatted so that it's exactly the size of what I want. So here we go. So if I click this, this is the size of a Facebook post. I simply would delete that and type in something else, maybe change the text. Okay, and uh, I've got it. And then all I have to do is come over here, publish to Facebook, and you're good to go. We now have a professional looking graphic instead of something that uh, would have taken you a lot longer to create. Uh, you can click and drag and move that around. All the text is editable, published directly to Facebook, or you can click the download button and download it to your computer in a variety of different formats like this, including PDF, JPEG, or uh, video. And once you download it, it will be on your computer and you can upload it to Schoology, for example. Doesn't have to be social media. But the cool thing is that any of these will be formatted to exactly the right size to look good. And then all you have to do is change the text. You're welcome to change the graphic. But how quickly could I come up with something like this? I could probably do it in just a matter of five seconds. And I would have a professional looking graphic in just a matter of seconds that could be uploaded or uh, saved to social media, to my Google Drive, to my computer, and then usable any point. So file, I can create a new design on the fly if I want to. I can choose the size that I want it to be. I can make a custom size, get that graphic in there. Yes, you can go in if you want to, and uh, you can upload things from your computer that already exist by going to the upload arrow. I could find things um, from my Google Drive as well, and then upload media, and then you can upload something already from your computer and use that uh, to assist you with anything else that you get from Canva. When you're done, anything that you've saved will show up under your recent designs. These are some that I've created in the past, uh, and I can always go back to those. I can click see all. I could even do a resume in Canva. These are resume templates. Instagram post templates, YouTube, thumbnail. You see some of those really uh, expensive and uh, professional looking graphics on people's YouTube channels. I'll bet you at least half of those YouTube channel artworks have been taken from Canva. This is a way to make yourself a professional graphic artist in just a matter of seconds. So that'll definitely save you some time.